intake side, it's not that bad. Uh, there is about a 60 to 80 thousandths bulge where the CNC cutter marks come in where it tried to gasket match it and then uh, the meat bulges back out you know like I said about 80 thousandths on each side so ain't too much to it to straighten it out you just got to go in a little bit further and try to pull it in so I start at the back just trying to get rid of that giant hump. It's like a big funnel where they see and see board and match it. That's all. I mean, I'm not going to go in there and polish it and all that stuff. I'm just taking that awful hump difference out of it. Now, the neat thing here that's, that's really interesting is on the roof, uh, you ain't got to do it. On the roof, they got, the, it's an intrusion going inward. So, you know, there's not a problem there. It, it, it's bad. Let me see, I don't think I can show it. Look at here. See, on our roof, it's not the same thing. It's, it's an intrusion. So it comes in and then drops down, which I really don't like that a lot, but there ain't a lot I can do unless I went up here and raised that up about 80 thousandths to make it have a straight shot. <laughs> What's funny is on the stock Vortec head, it's the other way around. It's an extrusion uh, where you have to cut all the roof out to get it to go straight. Here they went up and brought this down. It's kind of stupid but that's the way it is I won't even touch that with my cutter because like I said I'm just trying to get the, the giant humps and the funnel out of it and blend it and hand it to them without any kind of polishing or anything so anyway just wanted to show you that last part and uh, this wasn't near as bad as the exhaust the exhaust is what was horrible so now we're going to get on to the valve job in the bowl area and conclude this now, the next phase of this is setting up for checking the guides and, and redoing the three angle valve job, okay? And um, the first thing, of course, you got to do is I take, this, I take my brush and I always shoot just a touch of carb cleaner. Oh, well, I, I brought this out here for a reason. Uh, hold on just a second. Okay. This is a, a very good book for you guys out there that are wanting to know about valve job and guide work. Now this is the older version. I heard they got a major update to this. This is Automotive Engine Rebuilding by James Hughes. And the ISBN number on this, 0-471-03461-4. I'll zoom in and get you a close up in a second. But it has a section in here on valve seat run out, concentricity, its importance, and how it actually not only tells you about the uh, valve seat run out right here, it tells you that it's also used to check your equipment like your, your pilots and your stone holders. Um, page 317 on this, but I've had a bunch of emails where y'all want to know some of the books. Well, this was the first semester book at Shafee College in Ontario, California when I went there my first year in 1989 and unlike a lot of students I always kept all my good books. I've got quite a library over there but anyway um, I'm going to redo my website here pretty soon. I'm going to give y'all 
some of the books and things that I read which will go into it and all of that but back me up because I get a lot of emails uh, talking about run out and I've gotten to discussions about it and God work so anyway just some people wanted to ask and there it is now I've cleaned all the guides out I've cleaned all the valves but when I first went ready to put this in and check it I run into this valve won't even fit in there without having to push it in so I know I'm gonna have to touch it with a home this is what I'm talking about when I get these heads sometimes it's a devil getting the valves out of there and it ain't on ever set some of them will come out easy some of them hard uh, what they're using is they use a reamer like a diamond reamer to just shoot through there uh, and and they don't check each valve and go in there and hone it it's just too time consuming in this world of mass production and computer CNC stuff I know where some of the problem is I take a real fine used file and lightly touch the edges of the valve on the very tippy top now keep in mind, this is what came out of the box. Uh, <coughs> matched with it. Just some of the sharp edges and deep burr on it. All I'm doing is just hitting that very top part on the tip. Now, should... Alright, that's it, but it's still... I don't know. I'm going to put my gauges on there. I'm going to hit it with a hone anyway. It still feels a little tough. But I'm going to take and go through every one of these valves. Hit the top. Which uh, I can't say anything because I don't know. It makes me wonder who Elder Brock is getting their valves from. And some of the other companies like uh, uh, the China Heads. Uh, a pro, uh, not, not pro top line, they're out of business. Um, I can't think I'm brain dead right now, but a lot of the lower end companies, you don't see this a lot on Dart and Brodex, but I have seen it on them. That's why I said, look, I don't, I'm not trying to get a bunch of people to send me work, all right? I got a lot here to do. Carry it somewhere local in your area where you trust. If that's, you know, and have them take them apart and do the, the test that you've seen me do. I promise you it's worth it because if you don't do this and you bolt them on, you, you're going to be in a mess a thousand or two thousand miles down the road. You might get a set that come out fine. You get them. It's just like playing cards. You know, it's, it's odds. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that how to touch this. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hit them with a home and pull them in. And then we're going to get to the valve job. Okay, uh, after trimming down the valves to get where these things would, would fit in there normally, as you can see, <laughs> and that's with them perfectly clean, the end of the valves filed down. Then I went in here, pulled the measurement, and got the size that they need to be. Now look, I can't even, I can't even hardly push it through there. I'm coming up with measurements like uh, 0 .0007 and 0008. That's too tight. I mean, even with the uh, white lithium on there, there's a <laughs> there might be a chance that it might could actually stick about. So I gotta hand hone all these first and then go in there and do the three-angle valve job. Because remember, you always have to do whatever guide work, honing and stuff you're gonna do first. Because remember when I showed you how it could change the position of the seat? That always has to be done first. So I'm getting ready to hand hone all these. Let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. First, as you always remember, we have to hit both sides of the head and um, I've already trued the stone so I'm just going to right now make a couple of initial passes So 
that way if there's any burrs or anything where them valves had them knots on the end and had the problems which is here we go that's typical of china valves but i'm not going to say elder brock is using china valves i i can't say that i don't know that but that's one of the indicators that it is a china valve is that kind of situation or it just could be a a bad batch oh. all right all right now I can get it to go through there anyway without any kind of hang up all right so anyway, just wanted to show you that. I gotta go through all of them and then um, come back, turn it around, hit the other side, get all my measurements. So when I get this done, I'm gonna have .0012 on the intake and .0015 on the exhaust to 16, something like that. That's where I set my guides up at. All right, so anyway, just wanted you to see that. Like I said, once again, how even with the tip off, I, the clearances, I can't believe how tight some of these were. Now, see? Had my finger and do it. There we go. All right, now we'll go on to this and hit on with uh, what we got to do on the on the valve job. <laughs> 